another beautiful sunny day in February in Georgia. Today we're going to be working on the dump truck, working on the accelerator pedal. It is very hard to push down. Now this accelerator is very hard to push. I've been looking into it and I think there's three different reasons why it could be hard to push down. One would be the return spring on the carburetor. Another one is the fact that the cable itself, the accelerator cable, it might be old. Uh, from what I read online, I guess as it gets old, it gets worn out. It can make it very hard to push. And the third thing, I think it is the angle at which this cable is pulling the throttle, whatever this thing is here. So originally this was a TBI, throttle body injection. I don't know if this is the original cable, but I'm assuming that this is the original bracket and I don't know, I never saw the throttle body injection on here. So I don't really know how this thing hooked up. But right now it, it looks like the cable should really be kind of pulling up or straight back. And it looks like it's pulling it down. It's just, a, it's a weird angle, the way it's pulling at the pivot point. So I think first we're gonna take this bracket off here and we're gonna modify it. I'm gonna get my brother to help me and weld it up. I'll take it off and maybe we'll try to extend it up. Change the angle of this cable, make it pull straight back or maybe a little bit higher. 9 sixteenths and uh, 9 sixteenths. That, that's too big. Let's try a half inch. Okay, that's it. Got to take this spring off of here. Got the needle nose pliers. Got us an extension on there. Try not to drop the bolt down in the engine. There we go. So this bracket's down here like this. I believe I'm gonna cut this off. I don't know what this used to go to. It looks like something was bolted up to it. There may have been a bunch of cables running back here with all the wires and sensors and everything for the TBI. Maybe it was just a little, little black plastic thing, you know, that secures cables. Maybe it was secured to that. I don't know, but we're trying to simplify things. I'm going to probably cut this off because I don't need all that. I don't know what's going on with this. He's rigging up the porta band here in a clamp to uh, cut this piece off. I probably just would have used a, a grinder and a cutoff wheel, but this is what we're doing here. Looks like we're making a 27 piece screwdriver here to cut this thing off. That actually looks pretty good. It's a little bit sharp right there, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just flatten it up with the flap wheel. With a grinder, whatever it is. Flap wheel. All right, the idea is basically, you know, this bolts to the uh, intake, and this is where the cable comes through. So I want to extend it up higher, I think. That way, the cable is pulling at a diff either straight back or a different angle. We're going to have to play around with it. So he's going to use this piece of angle here and we're going to just figure it out. I think the first thing I got to do is cut this off. We got a couple clamps on this thing and we're just going to move this little piece around here, basically trying to find out a good height to mount this cable to. All right, we found this random hole. This is a summit intake and a summit carburetor. So the previous owner, they did the TBI to carb swap and they had this intake put on. So I don't know what this hole is for right here. It's a threaded hole, but that's what we're looking at. Once we get this fixed, we may actually, uh, he might weld another little piece on here and I can maybe run a bolt through that. And maybe that'll kind of keep this from wiggling around. First, we're gonna adjust the height of this and see what that does. I feel like the accelerator is definitely easier to push, not, oh yeah, this thing's wiggling all around. All right, we got a mark on there and I think that's about where we're gonna weld it up. All right, we also have a mark down here on this other piece down there you can see because 
the uh, that bracket is hitting on this valve cover so we're gonna cut that off a little bit we got this bracket in here and it's looking pretty good so I think another thing that I'm gonna do I think this where this attaches right here I'm actually gonna move it up here I feel like this is pulling on this piece too close to the pivot point so maybe if we can uh, move this up put a bolt through here and bolt the cable up here it's gonna I don't know is that giving more leverage or something it's maybe that's gonna make it a little bit easier so we gotta take this little clip off of here somehow without losing it and this should just pull off right there all right we got this uh, 7 16 wrench and we're gonna it's like a little stud that goes through here and it's got this nut on the back side so we're gonna take that off all right we got another wrench for the other side here try not to lose this nut or this washer now that's what's going through there that the accelerator cable is uh, hooked to. So this is where it was. Somehow I want to try to move it up here I think. Uh, the pivot points like right here. So I feel like if it was pulling further up here I just feel like that would be a little bit easier. I figure out how I'm going to do that. How I'm going to get that. That's such a big hole there. I don't know if it really means anything but I thought that maybe the cable was old or bad and it needed to be replaced. Sometimes I read that if the cable gets old it can have a lot of resistance or be tough to move. So right now obviously it's not connected to anything except the accelerator pedal inside the cab and this is very easy to move. I would think you have more strength in your foot or your leg and so I don't feel like there's any kind of resistance. I don't think there's anything wrong with this cable. Other than maybe it's a little bit too long. I feel like the problem is all right in here somewhere. Well, this looks like it came from the dealership this way. Look how good this is. Couple of big old washers on here. So this is a really big hole right here. So what I had to do this is a, I don't know, I guess it's a metric little bolt. And it's, this is a quarter 20 nut. This thread is finer. So basically I just made a little bushing. Got my big fender washer. And this, I just drilled this, uh, this nut out. So it would fit in there. Fit inside that big hole there. Uh, you can see how big that hole is. So I took this quarter 20 nut and just drilled it out so it would kind of be a little bushing to go inside there. If I can get it, there we go. So we got the uh, little fender washer, then we put the bushing I made on there. Put the other fender washer. And, of course, the nut. I'm actually gonna put some, some thread locker so this, I had this little lock washer on there and then the nut. I don't have room to put the lock washer. I barely have any threads sticking out. So we're going to throw a little thread locker on there. This may be a complete waste of time. Oh wow, yeah, we're just getting that everywhere. This may be a complete waste of time and I end up taking this all back apart and putting it the way it was, but I don't know, it might, it might work great. Tighten this thing up here. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I think our bracket is about done. I'm going to grind on it a little bit and clean it up. And then I think I'm going to prime it and maybe just paint it black. This is that piece that he put on here. And it'll bolt to the front of the intake there to obviously strengthen this up. This bracket is done, and now we're gonna to try to put some primer and just some black paint on it.
We got this piece primered up and now we're gonna spray paint it black. So I've got this uh, Rust-Oleum flat black. It's just something that my brother had in the shop. And he's got a bucket of 3 8 hardware right here. So I was able to find this little bolt in there and it fits perfect into this little hole. Whatever this hole is for, I don't know. I'm gonna put the cable back on here now. And I've got this little clip. It goes on there. There we go. Looks like this paint is dry, so we're gonna go ahead and put this new bracket on here. So it should go right in there. All right, nine sixteenths. Get this tightened down. All right, I like it. Hopefully, it works. We got to hook the cable in here now. I could not be more happier. This worked it actually worked. Now, I don't know which was more important, raising this up or moving this so it's further away from the pivot point, but this accelerator is a lot easier to push. So much easier. This bracket looks pretty good. It's painted black. I got it dirty, of course, from this cable, but I think it turned out really good. Very sturdy. And this doesn't look that bad. It, it's very tight and secure, especially since I got that little bushing in there. So we got the, and we got the accelerator fixed. I've been cruising up and down my brother's driveway and it is a lot easier to drive this thing now. I hate that we wasted an entire day working on this project, but it was worth it. Now let's get it turned around. I gotta figure out a good mount for this camera. That's the power steering doing that. There we go. First gear. We're going to not take it above first, I think. Gravel driveway, the camera shakes too much. I cannot believe how much better this thing drives, how much easier it is to drive with this accelerator being easier to push. I think this truck needs a clutch, which I'm going to be working on it at some point. There we go. Second gear. I'm still learning how to 
drive this thing. Brakes are a little spongy. We'll work on that eventually. This truck had some new brake lines put on it on the front uh, before I bought it. This truck drives so much better with the accelerator being easier to push. I'm still learning how to change gears in this thing and it's so much easier with that accelerator fixed. My brother, he gave up his entire day to help me. He was gonna be working in his yard, burning. I'm so thankful that he was able to help me and weld, help me work on this project. Thank you very much. If you made it this far in my video, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.